All right, the verdict is in on my last video. You guys said and said, hashtag husband and wife. So, uh, that's exactly what we're going to do because we keep our promise. We said if y'all uh, commented with hashtag husband and wife or said husband and wife team, that we're going to make a video talking about basically what we do and how we operate. But before I can get into all of that shit, Okay, I gotta sit here and get this damn intro out the way. So, without further ado, let's go. Love me, I'm on my cool J. If you get what I get, what would you say? She waxed it all off, Mr. Miyagi, and the suicide doors. Ari Kari, look at me now, look at me now. Oh, I'm getting paper. Look at me now, oh, look at me now. Yeah. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of the Trucking Truth, man. I am your boy A.A. Ron Aaron Hamilton, and this is that is Sheree. That's my lovely, lovely, beautiful wife. And uh, on this video, we're basically going to uh, talk about what we do for our team operation. But before I get into all that, I got to get this part out the way. Uh, if you guys don't know by now, which I usually say on damn near all of my videos, if you guys are not following us on our personal channel, y'all need to go over there and check out TAC, the Hamilton crew. Okay, even though she's still going to be in the truck, recording on the truck, she's got a lot of tutorials uh, that she shared, personal vlogs. Get to see how we interact with each other personally, away from trucking, even though we're still in a damn truck because this is what we do. This is our livelihood. Thank you. Bye so, bye. always, yes, what she said. The link is down below in the description box, aka the crash box. Uh, but I also need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to share. And if you guys want an automatic update for every time I upload a new video to this channel, Truck and Truth. Make sure y'all hit that bell over there on the side. Usually it's right beside uh, the subscribe button. So once you subscribe, you're gonna see the bell. You click the bell, it turns on your notification. And you guys are gonna uh, get notified every time I drop a video. Yes, I'm trying to get up to at least 300 subscribers. That way I can start doing live videos for you guys. But we got a lot of work to do before we get there. So. Without further ado, now we're going to talk about what we do out here as far as our operations go. Uh, we talked about this uh, a little bit on um, our other channel, TAC. Summed it up basically on how we operate. She's the pimp and I'm the bitch. Okay? Yeah. I'll say it again. She's the pimp and I'm the bitch. Yes, I said it. I ain't going to lie. I'm whipped. Okay? You guys can say whatever. Okay, but I'm whipped. But basically, we do a lot more than just joke. Okay, she's more of the logistical side of everything. Um, I do a lot of booking the loads. I do a lot of taking it off paper, putting it on the computer. But as far as keeping track of what we're doing, uh, from like when we get fuel, keeping track of the money that we spend while we're out here from week to week to week. Uh, that is what she does. She writes down all the fuel, she writes down um, all the loads, so that way at the end of the week I can take it and be able to put it in the computer, figure it out, and I can tell her basically how much we gross, how much we, uh, uh, how much we gross all together, how much the truck is gross, and then how much we net. And I'll be able to look at the, you know, the variable expenses and look at ways to basically on the operation uh, hold on a minute hold on okay guys I'm, I'm uh I'm uh recording a YouTube video and you guys are kind of like you know interrupting me this is a good video Sorry about that rude interruption. Damn CB radio. <laughs> nah, but she's basically, like I said, the logistical side. 
and on the operation side. She does not drive at all, okay? She does not drive at all. Um, but she makes up for that in ways that I cannot be more... Why do y'all put your butt in the videos, really? Yeah, your, butt, your booty was chill right in. I almost grabbed it. Yeah. All right, but she's more... But she makes that up in ways that I really appreciate her doing. Um, I am the operations side. I make sure that this truck moves. Okay, I book all the loads. I negotiate with all the brokers and make all the necessary uh, phone calls. I look at uh, what I'm going to be making as terms of profit from basically my uh, break-even point, my daily break-even point. That's basically what I do, and I drive. Uh, now, we are in a flatbed, so we even have added on responsibilities. Now, she's outside. She helps me tarp. She helps me secure. She helps me unsecure. She helps me put away stuff. Like, she is, like, out there with me. Doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing. It's like she's out there with me uh, putting her elbows in getting dirty right along with me. When I sweat, she sweats. And that's, that's the best part about us. Um... Is it hard for us working together? Sometimes. Because you got to think, you know, we've been out here consistent, cons consistent um, since December of last year. Uh, and sometimes being in this little spot, like, it's kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy. She's too crazy. See, I'm about to die. You see that? So if, if I don't make another video, remember, remember her face. Leo, he can't play right now. But um, basic, but basically, sometimes it is hard because we don't really see eye to eye all the time. But most of the time, it goes by easy. It makes my life a hell of a lot easier. It makes her life a hell of a lot easier. And we get along really good uh, being together out here on the road overall. Like, we don't really, we don't really um, clash a lot when it comes to work. You know, um, when it comes to work, we, we just get it in, we do what we gotta do and call it a day. Anything you like to add, baby? Nope, that's pretty much it. So how do you like being out here on the road with you? You like, you like pushing the paperwork and like keeping track of things? Would you would you write me up if I'm doing something wrong? I'll write you up, alright. You see that, right? Now, for those who don't know, we actually own our LLC. Uh, we call it ANS Freight Express. Okay, now we got a slogan, and if you guys watch the intro, you guys want to see our, our, our logo with our slogan on it. And our slogan is literally where the wife is boss. Okay, now in my next video, I'm going to explain why we chose that as our slogan. Okay, it kind of runs a little deep because the person who helped us come up with that slogan is uh, no longer with us. He passed away a couple years ago due to a heart attack and pneumonia. Uh, but it runs deep, and, and we really, we really put it to good use. And um, and it should tell you that the wife is the boss. Happy wife, happy life for the most part, but the wife is the boss. Because even though I'm a truck driver, <coughs> and and it, even though I'm a truck driver, and majority of the uh, industry is male drivers. Okay, we got a lot of female drivers, so hats off to you guys. But majority of us is uh, male drivers. So at the end of the day, the women run the show because if they they nag a lot, and then once you home, you gotta come home. Really? But at the end, yeah, this is. <laughs> but at the de at the end of the day, you know, it's it's the women who really, whether they're drivers or whether they're spouses of a driver, they they are really what keeps us grounded and keeps us focused as and, and pushes us as motivation to do what we do and be away from home and I'm so fortunate that I'm actually able to have my wife out here on the road with me. I know there's a lot of drivers that wish that they could have their wife with them but they can't because they got motherly duties or they got jobs of their own so but where the wife is boss like it's it's literally she's the boss and there ain't no playing with that Ain't no plan with that. But in my next video, we're gonna go more in the detail. All right, but I gotta come back because I gotta address the situation to a guy who commented on uh, 
a video of mine uh, where I was talking about the 72 hour blitz and I was overweight. So on the next clip, I'm going to lay in his ass. So just hold on a second. All right, so this is the part where I got to lay in somebody's ass. Uh, you know, basically speak about a little bit of knowledge and uh, address a little hate comment. He said, who the fuck don't use cat scales? Call me a cheapskate. Well, let me say something there, Mr. Johnny Harbinger or whatever the fuck your name is. That's a gay ass name, by the way there, Johnny. Let me, let me tell you something. I am an owner operator, okay? I own a business. Now, I don't care if it's a big business. I don't care if it's Walmart. I don't care if it's Prime, Swift, Knight. I don't care if it's a small mom and pop business, any type of business. It's in every business interest, okay, to try to sit here and save money as much as you can. And anywhere that you can cut the cost on things, you can do it. Now, see, here's a, a thing that you got to understand is I saw in business, okay, you're going to make mistakes. And on my last video, I explained that I made a mistake. I ain't perfect. But see, but here's why, like, it doesn't bother me. Because when you know your truck and you know your trailer, okay, now I'm not just talking about knowing it by the way it rides. So I'm not talking about knowing it by the, uh, the type of music or the type of engine you got in that motherfucker. I'm talking about some more shit on that. Like, knowing how much your truck can weigh. How much your trailer can weigh. On each axle. Okay? Now, Oklahoma, let me go and say it again. Oklahoma is, uh, you're allowed 40,000. 40,000 on the drives. Check it up. Another subscriber, I believe, commented on it. Okay? So, this is information I did not know, but I just found out. And he's right. I looked it up. But here's also what I do know. Empty, let me go say it again. Empty, my truck weighs 31,000 pounds. Empty. Okay? So, legally, as long as it's balanced right, as long as it's balanced right, okay, I'm allowed to haul up to 49,000 pounds. Because if you take 31 and add it to 49, it honestly equals 80,000 pounds. So as long as my truck and my trailer and my load does not weigh over 80,000 pounds max, I could haul it. Okay, then there's axle weights. Okay, so my judgment was off on the axle weights. Now, getting on the overweight, believe it or not, is more common than what you think. In fact, the results of the 72 hours uh, blitz that's going to come out will even reflect what I'm saying. So, let me say it like this. If I know the weight that I could haul on my truck, okay, that means it's pretty much, it's pretty much doesn't make me a cheapskate. It just means I might know what the fuck I'm doing. Now, where to put the objects on my trailer. Like I said, it was straight in the center. I should have moved the bottom row back a little bit behind the center line. And I should have sat here and centered the top layer off of the bottom layer. Okay? Centered it on that. And I would have been legal. I would have been just fine. But it was my error. Now, I'm not throwing a pity party. I'm not doing none of that. I took the loss. It is what it was. I wasn't confused about shit at all. The only thing I was confused about is because I did not understand how it was overweight on my drive axles at one scale, but I wasn't at another scale. So, it dawned on me, did a little bit of research, uh, then um, I get another comment basically explaining why. Okay? And then I did some research off of that and that's what it was. So it was just a question about what I need to do. So as far as me being a cheapskate, fuck yeah, I'm trying to be a cheapskate. That's why there's going to be more money in my bank account, more money in my fucking pocket than what you, what, what you probably have right now. So if I got to take a fucking loss, and which which it was $333 loss, okay? That's it, $333 loss. And I made up for that on a load that I'm currently on now. 
I take that. Okay, but it's an honest mistake. Every driver, whether they're new or whether they're old or somewhere in between, like me, are going to make mistakes. Every carrier, whether they're small or whether they're big, like Swift and Knight and J.B. Hunt, are going to make mistakes. Look at Celadon's big ass. Okay, they're going to make mistakes. Okay, but... The, the thing is, is what you do with the mistake is what allows you to drive on and recover from it. So, I lost out on $333. Ooh. Okay, $333. Literally. Because that's how much it cost me out of my pocket to adjust the load. $333. For a week, I sit here and I grossed $8,700 by myself. With her. On 2,700 miles, so I think uh, I'll take that little bit of a loss. Okay, now you can sit here and talk about my CSA scores, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, I was talking about the hardships because I just get tired of going through the hardships, but I'm just gonna come back strong, just like I said. I took a $333 loss and turned it into an $8,700 gain. So, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. I'd rather be a cheapskate out here with the knowledge I know and continue to find out, okay? Because one thing, like I said, when you know your truck, you know your trailer, you know um, the maintenance and the routine, you're going to make mistakes no matter what, but at the same damn time, at the same damn time, you can be a cheapskate at things. That's what it is. Welcome to trucking. I don't care if you guys heard it over there. I don't care if you guys heard it over there. I just hope to God you didn't hear it from Johnny Harbanger because he's a dumbass. Okay? But over here, I don't care because I'm only going to give y'all the mother trucking truth. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? That was a bad day for me, but I recuperated. It is what it was. I asked an honest question. Thanks to all of my subscribers for answering that question. Honestly, telling me. But don't sit here and try to insult my dignity without expecting me to sit here and call your ass out on it. So again, you can be a cheapskate at anything as long as you got knowledge in what you do. And I ain't saying I'm perfect, and I got a lot more to fucking learn. But uh, I'm a flatbedder. I'm not, I don't have a drive in or a reefer. I actually get to say where my loads were. Did I make a mistake? Yes. It is what it is. But as always, I hope you guys are having fun, living life, you know what I'm saying? I just hope you guys are being safe out there. And as always, man, it's like any other time, I'm going to catch you guys on the other side. Deuces.